Hi, my name is Michael Abu, and I'm a data center technical leader in the customer experience organization at Cisco. In this video, we'll be going over the Nexus Switch Intersight device connector and how to connect and claim your device in the Intersight portal. Intersight is a free cloud connectivity feature for Cisco data center products. In order to utilize the Intersight feature on your Nexus Switch, the switch must be running NXOS version 10.2.3f or later. After a Nexus Switch has been claimed within the Intersight portal, Cisco Tech can autonomously collect tech support details when a TAC case is open using the serial number of a claimed Nexus switch. Intersight also enables TAC with remote on-demand collection of tech support details logs in the event that more logs are needed later in the life cycle of the TAC case. There are also many more exciting features planned on the roadmap for Intersight. Next, let's walk through what configuration is needed in the lab. We can see that our lab switch is a Nexus 93240YC FX2 running NXOS version 10.3.4a. If we run the command show system device connector claim info, we see that the serial number is provided. However, we receive an error while trying to fetch the claim code. This is because the switch is not connected to the Intersight cloud. If we check the output of show system internal Intersight info, we get a little more info about why there is no connectivity. In this case, DNS is not configured, along with a few other necessary configurations to allow the switch to connect to Intersight. Let's go ahead and configure the switch for domain lookup, give it a domain name and name servers, and finally provide it with a proxy server. A proxy is not always needed and will depend on each environment. However, in the case of this lab, we need one configured. Now if we recheck the output of show system internal Intersight info, we see that the switch's connection state shows establishing connection. This can take a few minutes, but the status should change to a connected state. The connected state simply means that the switch can establish a connection with the cloud server. We still need to claim the switch from the Intersight portal to get the benefits of Intersight. Next, let's check the output of Show System Device Connector Claim Info, so we can collect the serial number and security token which will be used to claim the switch in the Intersight portal. We can see that currently the claim state shows as not claimed. Now we can log into our account at Intersight.com, navigate to System, then Targets, and then finally claim a new target. From this page, we can scroll down to Network, and then select Cisco Nexus Switch and Start. Here, we can see where we need to input the serial number and security token of the switch so that we can claim it in the Intersight portal. Now that the switch is claimed, we can see various details about the switch. Also, if we go back to the CLI of the switch, it will now have a claimed status. That concludes this video on Nexus Intersight. Thanks for watching.